Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what is going on? Justin Masson here. I am, my mind is still spinning. It's early in the morning and, uh, well, if you clicked on the link, you know, you know why? Because apparently, apparently, um, Paper Mario is back in the Origami King coming out on July 17th. And ladies and gentlemen, we found out via press release, and much like everyone else, when a trailer just dropped. So Nintendo, you know, we talked about this idea of Nintendo not doing Nintendo Directs right now and not positioning or marketing that way. And we all joked, well, sure, look, it. we'll just wake up and there'll be an email in our box and say what's going on. D there it is. <laughs> That's what's happening. So apparently... um yeah, Paper Mario, uh, or Paper Mario Origami King is coming to the Nintendo Switch on July 17th. Now, this is interesting because this is the first game that we're seeing beyond June um, that Nintendo is sharing with us. I also find this very interesting um, that they actually didn't mention this in the fiscal um, meeting, the investors meeting they had literally like two a week ago. Um, so, sorry, I'm still, still waking up here. Still, you know, mm. Mmm. Ah. Uh, Tim Hortons coffee. It, it, it'll it wake you up. Sponsored by... It's not sponsored by Tim Hortons. I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, I got a press release here. Let's read it together. Let's talk about this. All right. Da, 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 da. I love that the byline is, uh, a new Paper Mario adventure unfolds. Eh? Eh? Someone's someone smart with the writing. Unfolds for the Nintendo Switch on June... Or sorry, July 17th. Um, Paper Mario, the Origami King, delivers a, com a comedy-filled journey packed with puzzles, strategic ring-based battles. Strategic ring-based. Hmm. Quirky characters and stunning visuals. Um, yeah, I'm just taking a look here. Now, obviously, this is the first time it's coming to the Nintendo Switch family. Not a huge shock. Okay, so here's the idea. Um... Here's the here's the crutch of it. Uh, Princess Peach is welcoming Mario and Luigi to attend the Kingdom's Origami Festival. Uh, except there's one tiny wrinkle in the festival, though. Princess Peach seems a little strange. Oh, no. Oh, no, Princess Peach. You seem so strange. What's going on? Um, to learn about her mysterious behavior, you can debut the trailer, which... Over here, right? It seems as if the King Ollie who claims to be the ruler of the Origami Kingdom, has hatched a devious plot that endangers everything Mario holds dear. It looks pretty dangerous on paper. <laughs> so someone who's a cut above the rest is needed to save the day. So that is new Paper Mario. Um, let's just see here. Here's anything else. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, okay. Okay, so there's some new abilities that he has, including including the called 1,000 Folded Arms, allows you to interact with the landscape by stretching out and pulling, peeling, and revealing new locations, helping you solve puzzles and uncover unexpected surprises. Okay, okay, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, introducing, this, okay, here we go. The Origami King has also introduced a new ring-based battle system that lets you flex your problem-solving skills. Um, and to line up scattered enemies and maximize damage while the enemies may be crafted by paper. These dynamic turn-based battles are far from stationary. It requires a sharp mind to make short work of these crafted enemies. Okay. Um, for those of you that want to begin their adventure as soon as possible, you can pre-purchase is now available. Uh, okay, so apparently on the eShop update this week, it'll be available for you to, to pre-purchase for $79.99. This is Canadian information, obviously, so probably about $59.99 in, in the U.S. or whatever it is. Um, so folks, yeah, apparently Paper Mario is coming. I really liked Paper Mario Color Splash for the Nintendo Switch uh, when it was on the Wii U. Um, this was one of the rumors that we heard this year about Mario games uh, coming to the Nintendo Switch, and obviously Paper Mario specifically had actually been called out as one of them. Uh, that was early in the year before we heard this kind of 35-year anniversary stuff. Um, so this is coming to fruition. Um, not a huge shock, I don't think. I think this is, again, one of those um, ideas of probably the, the tier. Paper Mario is a tier, not necessarily Mario. That's not a huge, huge seller, but has an audience and has a base and is a franchise that Nintendo likes to go to. I always find, you know, these ones are... Again, I think pretty well written, usually pretty fun, um, you know, and I think 
this is so I, I, a, I think this is great. I think this is very interesting how we're getting this information. Again, it's not a direct, but rather a email press release and a trailer drop. And Nintendo has been able to do these things before in surprise kind of announcements. And, you know, we see that with some of their um, uh, mini directs and stuff like that. Like, hey, it's out now. Take a watch. Um, and they don't build the hype around it. But this is kind of just like, whoa, all right, there you go. So this is, again, the first game we're knowing uh, beyond quarter one. Uh, for Nintendo, and uh, it is true to one of the rumors. So who knows? Maybe we'll get another email like middle of June of like, "Hey, Sunshine is coming out in August." Blah blah blah. Um, so yeah, I think it's great, and this may kick. This may be their kickoff for celebrating Mario's thirty-five years. Tough to say, guys. Let me know in the comments below what do you think of Super Pipe of Paper Mario Origami King coming to the Nintendo Switch. Take care. Bye bye.